The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center, tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Western University. Residents of London, Ontario and Middlesex County. Future historians will one day ask, what was this part of Canada like during the COVID-19 pandemic? How were people living their lives? How were they coping? Here is your chance to make history. Western Libraries has a new project, COVID-19 in London, Ontario, capturing the local experience. Upload that poem you wrote, that song you performed on YouTube, a photo of a neighborhood chalk art that thanks healthcare workers, your musings from home, or teaching grade four math to your kid. The project is urging people to upload journal entries, audio recordings, photos, videos, pandemic-related business documents, and people's social media posts that illustrate what life is like now. These memories and moments will be invaluable for future historians. And Western Libraries wants to capture that history while it is currently being made. The site has only just launched, but already people have contributed several items. A photo of an inspirational painted rock found on a path, a boredom banana bread recipe, a recording for Zoom ballet class, as well as poetry, watercolor art, a journal entry, and a parody video. It's also a reminder that future generations may not automatically remember how our mundane, usual daily lives became unusual in so many ways. Face masks while grocery shopping, two meter physical distancing, frustrations of juggling school and work and leisure time, and daily figures of illnesses, recoveries, and deaths. Contributors can also draw inspiration from questions on the website that ask how they're passing the time, how their work and education has been affected, and whether they know anyone who has been ill, and how they believe life will be better or worse after the pandemic. Researchers can also compare local experiences to that of people in other Canadian communities. Many have launched similar community archives. All documents are uploaded to a secure platform, and like other items in the archives, they become donations to Western. Contributors must submit their entries with a valid name and email address, but they have the option of making their names public or private. This story was adapted from Deb Van Brink's Western News article, Archives Preserving Local Pandemic Memories.